Well, good morning, guys. Doing a little weekly update here on the rigs in the shop. Got the cat chilling this morning, getting stuff ready for Pro Line. Gonna take the gladiators out later today, so you guys will catch a video on that. Look at this guy. He has just decided this is where he wants to lay morning nap spot. But let's get to the rigs we've been working on. Got the Bronco here, chop top. Well, let's go check out some rigs. All right, guys, we got some quick updates on some rigs. Getting ready for pro line by the fire here. All these rigs will be there. We're getting them all set up here. So some of these are customer rigs. Some of these are friends rig. This is a friend of mine's rig. New Night Runner. You can see here doing the, the Overland spec on this. We got some... Uh, KMC uh, 310s, bronze going on this, some 4.19s on it, and then uh, mounted the actual bed rack on some small little spacers under there on the roof. So we had my extra one, and then I had some little 3D printed boxes, and then we're working on some lighting. Got a Traxxas light bar up here that we're going to wire in, mount up. We also have a low C uh, laser nut light bar we're gonna mount up over here. Just, just sitting there. And we're also gonna do a set of ditch lights, just like mine on this. So it's got the snorkel on there. Got this truck going, putting the motor kit in it, servo, all that stuff. And then you got my truck I've been working on here, waiting on some parts, but I did get an interior. It's not painted yet. Probably get that painted today. This is a Proline uh, Ford Raptor interior, or what they would call their modern interior. Unfortunately, I think they discontinued these. I got really lucky. Uh, somebody watches the channel, it's local to me, had one, and wasn't gonna use it. So he uh, scored me this one. Thanks a lot. It's really gonna finish off the truck nice and uh, fill that gap. and. It seems to fit. The front seats are a little bit farther back than I want, but the dashboard and everything fits good. Rear seats fit in there. So we got that going. And then we got this monster. This uh, customer's car. Just wanted to get the body set. Still working on the bumper. He's uh, got an IE uh, stainless stamped cut grill that he's going to put on this. And we uh, chopped up the line bed cage to fit on this get it set real nice and low cut the sliders to fit the body so yeah he'll get that thing all done and painted should be out pro line playing around and then we got this monster this is a little capra i'm working on this for a buddy of mine we actually uh it's a stampede chevy pickup truck body and uh, we actually cut the front of the frame off the uh, cage. You can't see it under there. But, uh, you know, we, we actually shortened the frame on this. We're waiting on some 85 mil shocks. And uh, we've got some BP axles to go back under this. A sweet carbon fiber uh, cover panel for the roof. But, uh, yeah, laid down this cool paint job. Uh, this is pretty much all Traxxas paints, a uh, new line of paints. The gold is from Tamiya, and it's backed in a copper to kind of fatten it up. But the uh, black paint is uh, Traxxas, and it, and it really uh, covers really well. It uh, sprays out nicely. The chrome bits are also Traxxas. So we've used the, uh, oh, I forget what the name of it is other brand chrome which i kind of like a little bit better uh this one is backed in the black but this is the traxxas chrome it, it looks it looks decent kind of looks more like a brushed aluminum than chrome if you ask me but paint still sprayed out nice uh, the new traxxas paints we figured we'd try those out uh, but they don't make gold so we uh we use the tamiya for the gold on this but yeah, so there you go, guys. A few things happening in the shop this week. Got this going back to the customer. I do a paint job on it. Just want some help getting the getting the body set. 
he's still got to do his body posts, a couple other things. And then, uh, obviously, we got my truck, the laser nut lights we got mounted on the front. I don't know if we showed you those. Now those are the light pods that come off of a Losi laser nut. And then uh, I cut up these little, you know, found something that makes a little mount for them. They mount to the cage originally. Uh, yeah, and then the Traxxas stitch lights you've seen. And then we also use the uh, light bar off the Losi. It comes in a little bag, a little kit. It's only about 25 bucks. And uh, these lights are pretty bright. Uh, you've probably seen them on some of my other videos. Actually, you know, if uh, we take a minute, I'll plug this in. And uh, you can see how bright those are. So, give me a minute. I'll get them plugged in. All right. So, there you can see. Got them all plugged in for you guys to check out. And uh, these are the little yellows up on the front. Kind of look uh, like a set of uh, Baja Designs LP9s on there. And then we got the light bar here. So this is a great inexpensive way if you got the space to put some uh, lights on your rig. These will just plug into your receiver. So a lot of uh, a lot of receivers have a line out for, for uh, lights these days. And uh, like I said, these are only about 25 bucks. So come with a few other things, There's a little mini like ETV looking winch in there. Don't have the ditch lights hooked up yet. We're uh, waiting for the lit LED kit to uh, patch those in. We're gonna run these off six volts. But yeah, these are the low C little light bar. I used some Proline mounts I had around just to mount that right to the windshield. And then uh, you got these big yellow jobbers up on the front. So, there we go, guys. Got some uh, rig updates for Proline by the Fire. We're only a few weeks away, so lots to get done. A couple of these trucks will be down to the wire. Waiting on some lights for this. Rest of the rigs are pretty much ready to go. And then uh, these guys got some work to do on theirs. This one we're going to get wrapped up here in the next week or so. And uh, yeah, that thing came out a treat. Looks great. This is uh, the body for this. You do have to chop your whole front of your cage off. Nothing uh, that doesn't just hold the old hood panel and the lights on. But uh, this is for a Traxxas Stampede. So didn't have to section up the middle. Just cut up the sides. The front fenders are pretty much in the stock cut location. Capper is pretty wide, so but just made a cool looking buggy out of it. So he's a he's a bow tie guy. See here, we just mounted it to the back of the cage, and then that sweet carbon roof panel. All right, guys, there's a little update for the day, for the week. Getting ready for Proline by the fire. Cats chilling over there, and. Uh, Thanks for watching. We'll get some more updates next week. Bye.